look at that thing, y'all. <laughs> y'all could see why when I knew we were coming to Missouri, this is what I wanted to come catch. That is just yeah. way too cool. It is, they're pretty. All right, y'all, we still doing those Missouri videos. I've got another one. This one is probably gonna trip y'all out a little bit. I'm here with my buddy, Bob. And y'all know one of our favorite things in Louisiana is crawfish. Bob knows where they got crawfish here in Missouri. That's right. I bet y'all didn't think they had crawfish in Missouri. So we're getting our traps ready right now. We're actually using the, uh, those are Fray Bill, right? Yep. Fray Bill minnow traps. I was able to pick up the Fray Bill crawfish traps from Hook and Line and Chalmette. And Bob has some of the minnow traps and he's going to show y'all how he modifies them for crawfish. So you can see the hole on the minnow traps is much smaller than the crawfish hole. Right. And uh, so... You know, we, we need about an inch and a half hole in here in order for the crawfish to be able to get in. Gotcha. So I use a Dremel tool and uh, just open up that hole a little bit oh, off wow. of the... Check that out. There it is. All right, we got our line. How many feet of line you, you went with? I put about 30 on there. Most 30 of the foot traps, of line. I've been running about 25 feet, so I gotcha. got about 27 to 30 feet of line. Now, that's the one big difference you'll see in the crawfish we're about to catch. These suckers are deep. I catch them in the ditch, ankle deep water. Bob is setting them in 25 foot of water. So that's going to be a big difference. Now, what species of crawfish do y'all have here? Man, I, I don't know the exact name of the species, but uh, they... I think this this species is only in, in one other place in the oh. US and uh, so it's kind of different. They got oh, a wow. very long long pincher. Uh huh. Um, they get pretty big. I mean, some of them will be from tail to end of pincher, ten plus inches. Yeah. Um, but a lot of them are you know that six seven inch and and um, have have nice big tails on them. Wow. So, and how did you get into that? You know, I just uh, I knew they had them down here in uh, Table Rock Lake. And we just bought down here a couple of years ago, so I started setting traps off the dock okay. and uh, and started catching them. And, wow! Uh, and you know we've had a couple of crawfish boils, and they're just fantastic. They're just that they are, my friend. That yeah, the fact the eating part is what would get you into the catching uh, yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, got me. it's got me. No, we we enjoy it. Yeah. So, awesome, man. And, and it's a great way to get friends together. And, yes. You know, yeah. Very so, much. Yep. All right. Well, we're gonna get these finished up, folks, and uh, take a little little side-by-side -side ride down to Bob's boat and go put them out get some crawfish all right look at this crew we got together we heading down to the boat docks right now Bob's got a boat and uh, we're gonna go try to get these crawfish traps out before the rain gets here there's supposed to be some pretty bad storms tonight Hopefully crawfish, that gets them moving. I know it works on snapping turtles. I'm not sure about crawfish. So we're heading down to the lake right now. This is Table Rock Lake in Missouri. A beautiful deep water reservoir, clear lake, and it's got crawfish. That man can put down some crawfish right there. Right outside of the Where's he at? Oh my, goodness. Gone. oh my goodness. It's not here. Oh my goodness. Here, can you hold the trap? Alright, Mama's got no. a trap. Jack's got two. Maddie's got two. Bob's got two. And I'll get the bait. Cooler full of water in case we win it. That is the lake, y'all. Check this place out. Let's go show it to him, Milo. How you doing, buddy? Check this place out, y'all. Beautiful lake. Look at that. Huh? And this is just a cove. It's a humongous lake, but this is just a cove on it. We're just going to set our traps in this cove. All right, they pulled up this trap that was just set here at the dock, not baited, and we've got a few crawfish in it. But one of them is a jumbo. I think it's that one right there. Look how cool those crawfish look. Um. Look at this guy, y'all. He might, he might pinch it. Oh, oh, if I want to pinch it, like. Uh, oh, you thought he was going to pinch my camera? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, He's going to get you, Jack. He's going to get you. Bob got chicken leg. I caught some bluegill actually here at this dock. And we also have some shad from our trip with uh, Terry. So we got, we got all the bait they could right. ever really want. 
Put a little bit of everything in there. Yeah, you're right. Nice. All right, you, in keeping with uh, the other video I did on a boat in Missouri, which was probably the nicest aluminum boat I've ever been on. This is the nicest boat I've ever been on, period. This is nicer than my living room. This is, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all you need is a 42 inch up there and you're good to go. We got our bait back here and we'll just bait up and throw them out as we need to. Very nice. I think the rain is gonna get us more than we thought. Okay, we're on the bottom. All right. All right. All right, well, we got hit by the rain, folks. We weren't able to get it in. The radar lied to us, but we know they're right under this dock. We know for a fact they're under here. So we're just gonna take them, get them off the boat, and start dropping them off the dock. Very careful, stuff it off. Very careful. All right, Jack. Jack's gonna go ahead and do one. All right, Jack. Now you gotta guide it down. There we go. We got light. Okay. All right, Jack. You're gonna guide it down. Okay. Jack's gonna guide it down. It is tiny. And once you feel it on the bottom, then you you can just tie it off to the pole. Hold on. So we're just gonna set along the dock. I mean, the rain got us. It is what it is, you know. But if he pulled one up from the dock with no bait. I would assume the ones we put with bait will definitely be enough for us to to eat. Okay. All right, Jack, you go ahead and set that. Wow, it's getting Just let it roll. There you go. You got it, my dude. Bob's dro dropping a box right, trap yeah, over here. Take a look at that out there. That's nasty. Wow. Look at that, folks. That's what we, holy smokes. <laughs> that is nasty. <laughs> Alright y'all, uh, the skies completely opened up. We were out there uh, and we knew like the storm was coming. You know, Bob even hey, said when we got hey here, guys. hey. Hey guys, hey guys, it was like an intense movie. It was like an intense movie. <laughs> they, I, we knew this this storm was coming. We thought we had more time. Luckily, we made a decision to get back in from the boat real quick. So it really hit us while we we're at the dock trying to get crawfish traps out. So we've got about you know, four or five okay, out. We gotta go back later oh, yeah. and put some more. Hold on, I'm gonna give you a second. I'm gonna give you a second, hold on. So, thankfully we're here, but the electricity's out. We're gonna wait it out here at Bob's for a minute before we head back. But that was intense, that was intense. And we got kids playing with knives. We just got, you name it, we got it going on right now. It's all happening. Milo, can you describe what, what just happened to us? What happened? What was that like? Was that scary? Um, a car! <laughs> Yeah. It was like so scary. It was like almost like Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> you thought he was gonna fly out the sky? Huh? No. <laughs> you good? No. You you cool? You the cool, calm, collected. You good? The dust <laughs> people, all of that happened to us. Oh, you thirsty, thirsty from all that happened to us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are we refugees? Are we <laughs> <laughs> this is his I version of Katrina. <laughs> Alright, what a difference a day makes. Golly, we left yesterday during a mini hurricane, a pop-up hurricane. Really caught everyone in town by surprise, knocked the electricity out, they had trees down everywhere, tree limbs down, and look at what we got today. It feels like fall right now, folks. I'm sure it's going to warm up pretty good as the day goes on, but right now it feels like a fall day. Just absolutely gorgeous. This lake is amazing. And those crawfish live right there. So we're gonna go see what we got. You a crawfish? Me and Jack just came back to the side by side. Check out what we found. Yep, a turtle. Milo's gonna freak out. Milo likes turtles. And that's a nice little turtle. We're gonna put him back. I just wanted to show Milo. Don't put him in the water. 
I'm not putting him in the water. Don't even do it. I'm not. He's gonna come for a little boat ride with us though. He is? Yeah. Okay. It might be our good luck charm. No, it's a land turtle. Mommy, come see. He's scared come. right now. I'm the pet one. Touch it. You pet it's in a shell. shell. He's scared right now. He'll come out in a little while. Bring, can we bring it? You want to bring him for a boat ride? No, we're going to leave him here. We don't want to take him away from his home, but let's bring him on a boat ride. Really? Maybe he'll be our good luck charm. Yeah. Okay. All right, little turtle. I hope you like crawfish. We'll feed him a crawfish. Out. <laughs> Let's stick it in the boat, hurry before All right, he gets come on, out. turtle. Coming for a boat ride, turtle. That's what. Mm. Turtle likes boat rides. He likes boat rides. And yeah. you like Sonic? Maybe that's the one Sonic stays. No, yeah. no, it no, that's orange. Sonic right. stays. Come hang out on the boat. It's fast. Get it. Jeff All right, we on the dock. We got how many on the dock? One, two, three, four. All right, four on the dock, two out with the boat. We weren't able to come back and put any more out because that weather just kept on coming last night. Electricity was out. So we're about to pull up our first one. Jack, you ready? Milo's ready. There's some, I know there's some coffee that might be some I am coffee. excited. I don't know about y'all. I am. This. So it might be a fish, so you rather than a fish. Oh, I see it. Yep, there's crawfish. We got some crawfish. Got some crawfish. I was right all the time. 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 All the time. All the time. All the time. All right. Maybe that fish is nasty. You sure you want to touch that? Oh, that. Ah. Oh, he got me good. What? Let me go. I'm not, I'm not even looking. All right. I'm sorry for everything you're well. making fun of you. I don't really want the Sorry. Okay. It's over like it's dead. Watch out, Jack. Okay. Huh? Got some crawl daddies. There we go. Ooh. Yay. That's a start. What we got? Two, four, six. Why are you six. making that noise? All right. Yeah. Pull up the big one. Hey, All right. Is there right. more? Is there more? Right here, Milo. Right here, Milo. Right here. Okay, you pull it up. This one's heavier. Heavy up. Got it? Okay, okay, they might get out. Okay, okay, they might get out. More friends, more friends. More they friends. Get out of here. So he, they might get out. Um, not yet. Hey, Daddy, they might get out okay. there, but they, they might stop. Can you see it? Oh. We got any crawfish? They might get out, and we have to jump on them. Oh, wow. Whoa. Load it up. Oh, load it up. We got to right. your uncle. Oh, they might pet you. Ooh, they got some big ones in there. Yes, indeed. Got some good bait here. Daddy. It's, it's recording. The video might be recording right now. All right. There we go. All right. Um, All right. Daddy, right. call it. Right. Look at that color. I'm I know. They're pretty. Um, I know. I like Daddy, call it. So they got a lot of blue. Ooh. I know. They got a lot of blue in them. Wow. At different times of the year, they got a lot of blue in their I like it. in their pinchers and whatnot. And uh, I mean, so a lot of the baits you. we throw bass fishing, we will throw like down. a Okeechobee craw or whatnot. It's got a lot of blue. Blue, yeah. Um, 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 who's ugly? Maybe that guy right, right there. Is that guy ugly? All right, see anything? Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, we got some. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, I love that sound. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. I talked to, to enough people to represent eight slips, so you're good. Okay, perfect. All right. Not including you. Thank you. Oh. Hi. You found one? Okay, next. Okay, you got one. That's the door? Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, right. Check that out. Woohoo! Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I got the. Uh, Oh, whatever that is. A little bit sad. That goes uh, in separate. Okay. I, chicken leg, yeah. I was going to say, if you want to really sell it, chicken. Yeah. Chicken, chicken does it better than anything I do. Yeah. I cook. Okay. I cook. I cooked about 40 of them the other day. Hey, I yeah. might help my little pull last season. All right. I'm going to come help it. Yeah. Let me get that. Nice I'm going to get that. 
You gonna help him? Yeah. You gonna... Let him. Let him do it. I'm helping you. I'm helping you, Milo. That's it. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna get it. Jack, let him do it. He is. He's helping him. Jack, help. Oh my God. Yeah, we got them. Yeah. They here. They definitely here. Like you um, said, if you kept your traps out, let's see, Jack. Coming. When I had a tiny crawfish. Let's see. When I had this as a resort, I had some people come from Louisiana. Uh huh. That's they took one look at it's my crawdad. No. They took one look at the crawdad and said, "Can I borrow y'all's trap?" <laughs> <laughs> sure. He was trying to get away. Gosh, they're cool. He he. He used hey, like three I days. saw the yeah. baby one. He came Open over it. the house and made etouffee. Did the baby one? Oh, I'm a little, little, tiny baby. Yeah. Their their etouffee is tiny way different from yours. Tiny baby. It was you like want to hold the baby one? It's like oh. a baby. Yeah. You can hold uh, it by its... No, no, no. You hold it, Daddy. I'm scared. It might pinch me. <laughs> it might. You're right. It might. That's how they survive. They use their pinches to fight. That's, that that's a good one, Daddy. Ooh, that's I think one. we need to drop that down on a, on a hook. That's a, that's a, a small one. And that's the baby one? Really? Oh. It is! Huh? Guys, comment down below. Put that on a hook? Wait. Under a bobber? Huh? <laughs> what y'all think? Uh, guys, why don't you let that one go? Yeah, he might. Please! He may not make it back from Aww. the bottom. Let him go. Let him go? Yeah. yeah him. He's baby. He's You're baby. fast, boy. There he goes. <laughs> Careful. Watch out. He's gone. That's it. You want to put the little one back? Sure. Um, get him out. He's holding on. All right. All right, grab him just like I do. You got to be behind his claws so he don't get you. Go ahead. You good? So put your two fingers. Right, put your two fingers right there. And don't. There, there you go. No, in front of mine. Put your two fingers right here. I'm scared. Yeah. To hold hold it back. There you go. All right. Now throw him back. Hold it to the camera. Hold it to the camera. All right, now wait. we got two more on the boat we need to go get. We got enough. Well, I mean, we're good. You know, they're big, so they're going to have a lot of meat. And look, this isn't like we didn't have out 50 traps or whatever. We had out six. So we're having a great time. Oh, okay. I like the turtle. Daddy, I'm glad you found the turtle. You, you're glad I found the turtle? But we're not keeping Maybe the turtle will be good luck for us, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it feel like a fall day? Yeah. yeah. This feels like yeah, fall day. Yeah, fall. Actually, not like fall, uh -huh. but... It's already cold. It's so I will pull... Here we go. Are you a cute turtle? Can we get it off of this door? Look, back, look. Back right up to it. How about that? Okay. There's the one we're going to get. See it? You gonna pull it up? Yeah, Go to your right, some Bob. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. I got hands on it. Pull it up. Jack wants to pull it up. All right, Jack. Do the hollows have tails? Huh? Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. There's ice. Oh, the one's on the wall. <laughs> you got anything? I see it. How we looking? No. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Skunk. What? Skunked. Right, dump that one. Okay. We just got to get you a four-wheel uh, four drop, man. That's all. To your right, Bob. To your right. All right. All right, Jack. All right. That's what you got, Jack. It's a little hung up. Okay, we're good. <laughs> you all right, bro? You got it? It's heavy when it's underwater. Hopefully it's full of crawfish. Mm. Uh, stick in a crawfish. Yeah, we got crawfish. Ooh, big one in that one. Yeah. Got a couple big ones, y'all. Not too bad. That, that looks like one of the biggest ones we've caught. Um, well, it didn't catch quantity, but it caught quality. What y'all call them? Crawdads? Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish or crawdads. Hey, crawdad. I don't want yeah. you to let this So Jody, who we're staying with, said when, when she was fun. young, her dad would call it, it going crawdad. Crawdad, yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that. Hey, Daddy. Oh, golly, y'all look at the pictures on that thing. Holy smokes. Hey. 
Big old, God, that's some big old claws. Look, Jack. Pretty. Look at a wingspan, huh? Wow. That is too cool. And it's funny because like this is something hey, Daddy, most people out here would never do. Trouble, they're you know Daddy. catching bass and Daddy, everything else, but trouble. they're here. Daddy? That's so cool. He's not. Daddy. He's not. So we checked all six. We definitely got enough for boil. Of course, we're going to add potatoes, <laughs> corn, sausage. We'll have plenty to eat. I can't wait to taste these and see if they're any different from the crawfish we're used to eating. Think, buddy, you gonna eat one? Huh? When they break it up, then I'm gonna hold it. So yeah. I'm gonna kill them. Yeah. Then I'll put the crawfish in. Yeah. I'm gonna take one of them and put it in. Okay. Bob's daughter's deer from this year. Nice, nice little deer with some kickers. That's awesome. Dad, Dad, I will bite you. <laughs> I will bite you, YouTubers. <laughs> you crazy. Yeah. All right, folks. Now this is probably the most crazy thing about it is we really don't even have to clean these crawfish. They come up out of that clear water. So it's like a nice kind of rocky, silky bottom, not, not in mud, so I mean, that water, you know, it's, it's, it's a little stain, but not like when we're doing our work on the crawfish. Now you really be able to grab them, Jack. Yeah, They're going to be chilled out. Big one, I, think, a big <laughs> I know. That is a hammer, dude. Mm. Boone and Crockett. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. The end bag. I, I don't know, I've never used this one. I use the bags. Now this stuff is deadly. I do know that. This is good stuff, but you can't use much of it. Looking good? Look good, got some color. Yep. Yeah, it come out of that bag. That bag needed to be yeah. in there for a while, but now you got plenty of good color. That's a good smell. Oh yeah. Yep. All right, potatoes are going in. Yes, indeed. He wants. He wants to drop it in the pot. I think. Can do that. All right, go ahead. You ready? You want to drop that one in? Go ahead. Go ahead. Drop your crawfish in. There we go. Stop picking them up. They cold. They should. They shouldn't bite you. All right. All right, show them how to do it, Bob. So what I like to do is kind of scoop them in there. And then that way when we, because a, a lot of kids help do it, and then just drop them in. That way we don't get a bunch of splash, because they'll splash up on Very them. smart. All right, see if you can do it. Go ahead. He wants to do this. There you go. All right, there you go. Carefully put it in the water and, and lo lo lower them all the way down into the water. There you that way go. they'll splash the hot stuff up on you. Very, yeah. very small. I'm gonna get a little stir it. real quick. And then we'll throw some more in there. Alright, the rest is done. Alright, set it all the way to the water. There you go. There they are. Beautiful. That's it. Alright. There you go, buddy. Alright, thank you, Bob. Yeah, very good. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful, my boy. There it is, folks. Some Table Rock Lake crawfish. It is. Oh, the good stuff, y'all. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We're going to go ahead and drop some on the outside, too. Mm hmm. You're gonna get that all over your fingers. Oh, it's gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be 
good, good, good. Bob, we can't thank you enough for taking us out, showing us a good time, putting us on these crawfish. Yeah, very good time. No, I appreciate you guys coming up, and uh, anytime, you guys are welcome. Anytime. I love you, man. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. All right, folks, there's those Table Rock big old crawfish. I don't know the species, so if you know the exact species of this crawfish, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'm sure I can figure out at some point, but that's one thing we don't know what the exact species this is, but they definitely run bigger than our red swamp crawfish at home. Now we got to try them out. So I like to get in the head and get all that. Yeah. Yummy. Mm. You got it? Yeah, I know what it goes. Oh, okay. He knows how it's to do it. All right, look at that big old hunk of crawfish meat, y'all. That is beautiful. Dip it in a little seasoning. I already ate a humongous one. You already ate a humongous one? Yeah, that was the biggest crawfish. Mmm. So good. Oh my goodness. Shell's like little lobsters. Like little lobsters. Let me help you out here, Jack. Shell's hard to get out. I got you. Don't worry. There you go, bro. Get some sausage. Well, folks, I don't know what else to say. We kind of did something that you would do in Louisiana, just in a total different way. Shout out to Bob. Thank you so much, brother, for taking us, showing us a good time. If you like this kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, click the bell so you get a notification. We'll see y'all next time.